It was a night like any other night, or that's what they thought. Alicia, Tay, and Helena were inside watching Halloween Resurrection. Then they heard a noise, so they looked out the window to see what it was. It was Marcus, Durand, and Edward leaving their dorm, running down the street. They thought they were being weird, you know, until they heard a special report on TV. Now the thing is, the kids lived in dorms, and right down the street was the hospital that Michael Myers was in. But when the reporter made the announcement, Michael had already escaped, and he was closer than they thought. When the report was made, they insisted for everyone to stay indoors for their own safety. I'm not staying in this house for a minute longer, girl, said Helena. Tay and Helena had already had their shoes on, except Alicia. She wasn't prepared for the fact that Michael was in the dark room behind her. Helena saw him and told Alicia to move. As soon as she gave a signal, Michael started walking towards her. Bitch, run, said Helena. As Alicia, missing the strike of Michael's knife by inches, they ran out of the dorm. Once they were out of the dorm, they started running down the street. As Alicia looked back, she saw Michael walking behind them. She looked forward for a few seconds, and when she looked back, he was gone. Typical, right? My whole thing is, you don't keep your eyes off of nobody. You stay just far enough. You know what I'm saying? But no, you don't take your eyes off of nobody because they could be doing anything. They ran all the way down the street and saw Carly sitting on her porch. What the hell is wrong with y'all? Carly asked. Michael Myers is in our dorm, Tay said. Whatever, y'all have nothing more to do with y'all time to try to play games, said Carly. As soon as she turned around to go in the house, Michael was standing right behind her. As she attempted to scream, Michael took out his knife and stabbed her in the mouth. As the knife came out the back of her head, her eyes began to bleed. Gross. As they began to run down the street, Alicia was tired of wanting to rest. Can we walk, please? Hell no! Do you know who we running from? Helena. Well, he walks, Alicia said. So? Helena. Look, there's an abandoned house at the end of the street. We can rest there until we figure out a plan. Now, my whole thing is, what is the point of going into a house? You know what I'm saying? That's confinement. You know, I'd rather be out where I can, you know, yeah, we don't do the house. Damn that. <clears throat> anyway. So, they reached the house. They ran inside and blocked the door with chairs and tables and sat in the corner. That's when they realized that's where Edward Duran and Marcus had run to. They asked them if they were okay because they knew what was wrong and they told them that Michael wasn't far behind. And when that was said, somebody started jiggling the knob. They started getting up and shaking, then a knife busted through the door. Oh, Jesus, screamed Duran. Now, you know that wasn't none but me. Everyone started running up the stairs, and by that time, they all got up the stairs. He was in the house. Edward started throwing stuff at him as he was heading up the stairs, but nothing stopped him. Duh. They ran up into the attic to jump out the window, and by the time they reached the attic, Michael was already on the second floor, child. The only way out the attic is out the window and shimmy down the gutter, said Edward. Helena and Tay hesitated to climb out the window, but they heard Michael coming up the attic stairs, so they had no choice. So they climbed out of the window and shimmied down the gutter, just in the nick of time. Shimmy. When they all got down, they ran, but Michael wasn't in sight. Then Marcus saw an empty minivan and got in. Come on, y'all, I can break into the car, said Marcus. If he can hop out the car, we already know where he been at. They ran over to the van and they all got in. Marcus didn't see any keys and nobody knew how to hotwire a car. I'm sick of running. We need to find a way to get away from him. Marcus. Marcus didn't see any keys. Marcus locked the doors and the only way to unlock the doors was from the driver's side. What idiot would make a car like that? When Marcus turned around to get out, Michael was standing outside Marcus's window. Lord Jesus. Michael broke the window, reached in, grabbed Marcus. Michael began to stab Marcus in the back. Oh, well. Everyone was trying to break the windows with their feet. Edward broke the sliding door, and everyone climbed out. Alicia was the last one to get out. Her shirt was caught in the broken window. Take off the damn shirt, you know, Helena said. I don't have on a bra, said Alicia. As Michael was coming around to Alicia, she was trying to get off the glass without getting cut, but it was too late. 
Michael grabbed her head and pushed her face into the broken glass. Bitch, why? Girl, you can run like this, okay? Why do you... Girl, this is your life we talking about. This is not... <laughs> They ran all the way down the block to the nearest bus stop. Luckily, a bus came just in time. As they boarded the bus, the driver hesitated to go any further because no one had any money. So instead of kicking them off, he closed the doors and went crazy. He started speeding down the street, screaming, None of you are getting off this bus until I have my fare. Then Edward tapped Helena's shoulders. Look in the back, Edward whispered. Helena looked and Michael had been on the bus the entire time. How in the hell did he get on here? 